Learn how to make a digital menu board using a cell phone, tablet, USB drive, or PC and Google. And you can launch it in three minutes or less. Welcome to the class. This is gonna be a multi-part video class. So I'm gonna give you the detailed overview examples in this video and the step-by-step -step how to in sequential videos so you can save time by only watching what you need. There are some prerequisites. First with equipment, you can use any plasma, LED, LCD, TV, or monitor that has an HDMI and a USB input. Now for the three minute launch, you must have a smart TV with the ability to accept screen mirror or one that can receive the send to request from smartphones and tablets. The Apple TV helps, but apps will make this work on non-Apple devices. You're also gonna need a free Google account specifically for YouTube and for Google Sheets, which is how this works. And you're going to need a portable USB drive. To go over the TVs again, you're going to want to use the RJ45, that's your LAN, that connects to your internet, unless you have a wireless internet. You need a USB jack here and several HDMI ins. On your phones, now your modern phone should have some of these options. You should have a, what's called a screencast. You have a cast screen button. <clears throat> you hit that and then you can actually mirror the phone to the TV, or you may have a screen mirror button depending on which device you have. Now there's, type, there's different types of menu boards. The first type was what we call a full menu board, and that's gonna be a static. Static meaning we're not gonna change, it's just gonna sit there. So if you currently have a venue that has an eight by 10 paper menu, this will work perfect for that. Or if you have a small amount of menu items, two to three columns, easy pricing, a couple of pictures, this is perfect for that. We have a multi-page menu board. So if you have two or more pages on your menu, we can do this in a slideshow or video format. We have a specials menu board that's dynamic. Dynamic meaning that we can change this menu on the fly. So you can have things for lunch specials and dinner specials on the same program. And again, a few simple clicks and you'll be able to change prices and pictures on the fly. What we also have is called a food and beverage showcase. That's gonna be a slideshow or a video. Now this works really well in takeout facilities or at lunchtime where you're gonna put all your photos and videos of everything you do in, in the restaurant in certain TV. So when people walk up and they're online waiting, they get to see all that great food. Now the devices you can use, you can use a smartphone, a tablet, any PC or laptop. Adapters may be needed for the older ones, but if you have a Windows PC with Windows XP or higher, you'll be good to go. And you'll also need a portable USB drive, which can be found at any office store. We're gonna start right now with the full menu board, a static full menu board, using a smartphone, tablet, USB drive, or PC. First, you're gonna take your digital file of the menu in JPEG or PDF format, and you're gonna load it to the device of choice. If you're using a smartphone and you have a PDF, just immediately take a screenshot to turn that PDF image into a JPEG file. And for the USB drives, tablets, and PCs, super simple. We're gonna plug these devices into the USB port of your TV. You're gonna select USB, and now the device you've hooked up will now be on the big screen, and congratulations, you have a static digital menu. If you want to do a little more high tech with a smartphone and a tablet, select your photo, select screen mirror, where you're going to click on the photo and hit the send to button. You're going to send it right to your smart TV. And now your menu will be displayed on the big screen. It'll look something like this once you're done. Now, if you want a multi-page menu board, we can do this using uh, slideshows or videos. This works well with USB drives and PCs. To do a USB drive, we're gonna take two or more JPEG images of your menu, save them to your USB drive, and you're gonna play the images as a slideshow on the TV in loop mode. Now, most of the newer TVs, once you plug the USB in, it'll say, open this folder, 
look at photos, and then you can actually hit the loop through the remote control. Most TVs will have that option. If you don't, you can actually make a movie out of your images, and then you can just play the movie off the USB drive. If you're doing it on a PC, it's gonna be the same thing. We're gonna save the images to a folder on the PC. We're gonna open up that folder and hit play as slideshow. Once that slideshow is playing, we're gonna connect the PC to the TV. We're gonna hit extend screen on the computer or laptop, and then we're gonna move the player onto the big screen, hit the full screen button, and now you have a live slideshow playing of your multi-page menu. It'll look something like this. So if it's in slideshow mode, it'll just go back and forth between your two or three pictures. Now this is one of my favorites called the specials menu board. This is completely dynamic, meaning we can change it on the fly. What's required for a dynamic menu is an internet connected TV, a PC, smartphone, or a tablet. Now, you're also gonna need the Google account for this one because we're gonna make the menus using Google Sheets. So you're gonna connect your Google Sheets menu and you're gonna play directly from your internet connected smart TV, smartphone, tablet, or PC. In other videos, I'm gonna show you how to make these menus using Google Sheets, which is absolutely free. And as long as they're connected to the internet, you'll be given a link so you can actually click on your menu from any internet connected device. Now this works well too if you're using any kind of chat bot software on let's say Facebook for example and someone says, do you have a menu? You can actually link that menu right to the user through the chat bots. You can put it on your Google local and you can just use it on your regular website and you'll, they'll actually get a, a same dynamic menu that you'll have in your venue will be available online. So it's really cool. We're going to show you how to make those videos later. And it looks something like this. So once you have these videos playing, you hit the loop key on these videos. And this is exactly what it looks like. Now I can actually give you a link and you can click on it. And this is exactly what your clients will see. So if you are doing a, a Martini Tuesday, you can easily send this out and they'll see this big menu on their screen. So I always recommend you make videos of what you do as well as static pictures. But this works again, internet, this will work on a broadcast TV. But again, this has to be connected to the internet. And again, it'll just run forever. And then once lunch is over, I can change the price of this on for a dinner. But the fun part of these specifically, if you have just maybe 10 at this price, every few minutes, you can actually lower the countdowns and two left, one left. And they can have the big sorry sold out. Thank you. Now we're talking about a food and beverage showcase next. That's easy. That's a slideshow or videos. You use a USB drive or a PC. So we're going to take your digital files, either in JPEG or PDF, and we're going to load it to the USB drive. Now for the USB drive, easy. Just plug it into the port of your TV, select U USB, and the menu is going to be displayed. On a PC, we're going to hit the play all photos of slideshow, hit that loop key, and then move the video players over to the extended screen, and that will run perpetually. No power needed. Again, all you need is just everything on that drive and just select the input on the TV and now you've made a digital menu board. The three minute launch. Here's how you do the three minute launch. You have three options. You can use the screen mirror on your phone or tablet. So once the menu's loaded on there, hit that screen share, launch it over. That should take you less than one minute. You can play the JPEG files or the MP4 videos from the USB. Once it's loaded on there, all you have to do is plug it in, hit the input. That'll take you about one minute as well. The three minute one made, if you plug your PC into the HDMI port, load that menu up, extend the screen, move the player over, and now you're launched in under three minutes. The step-by-step -step videos on how to make each and one of these menus will be in the next section. Thank you for watching.